Good morning. I'm honored to speak on behalf of many core friends who loved and admired Bert. To the Roland family, I extend my condolences and rejoice today knowing that Bert is just fine and he is truly home now. As I have looked back the past few days and thought about my relationship with Bert and what he was like, I realized that I met Bert in his last few chapters of life. I never got to know young Bert or Corps Officer Bert or non-white hair Bert <laughs> or Bert without a members only jacket and gold chain. <clears throat> I got to know sweet, gentle, innocent, quiet, retired Bert. <laughs> only kidding. Bert was none of those things, <clears throat> especially innocent. But the Bert I knew was filled with energy, he was witty, he was cool, talented, loving, loud, and young at heart. His circle of friends did not only include many of the gray hairs sitting in this audience, but also included many of us younger people in the Corps who absolutely loved Bert and felt the love he had for us. Bert loved people and he loved the Salvation Army. To know Bert meant that you had to deal with him getting into your personal life constantly. <laughs> he wanted to know who you were, where you worked, if you were married, when are you going to get married? And the question I got the most, which was, when are you going to training? <laughs> Bert loved bothering you a little bit to know more about your life and how you were doing. He loved to be with the people of this Corps and to fellowship with us all. Honestly, some of the conversations Bert would have were even more personal than I just described and not appropriate for this platform. <laughs> and wild coming from an 80-year-old. You had to have a good sense of humor to get Bert. Bert loved the Salvation Army. His faithfulness, commitment, and love to band and songsters is something I personally admire. I've been told that Bert was a talented musician when he was young, playing horn in many groups over the years and singing duets with his wife. One of my proudest moments of Bert was a few years ago out at camp uh, for FMI. Bert was playing second horn in the faculty band, and uh, he was singled out to play a tricky line that had uh, many fast notes in it, and he played it perfectly to my amazement. Bert loved to be asked to be a part of things and to do things. In Songsters, he always offered his services to play piano for the group, which was usually turned down with lots of laughter. <clears throat> Bert loved this core and cared about what was going on in it, whether it was men's club, school of music, Saroa, the bazaar, salvation meetings, or the men's chorus. And that last one, the men's chorus, was truly special. He asked me a couple times to sing a solo verse of the Battle Hymn of the Republic, which is one of the highlights of my musical career. He loved, too, to try and get Daryl Crossland to uh, join us in that number. And he finally did, I think, towards the end. Yeah. He loved being at the core and helping in any way he could. He knew how the Salvation Army could change lives if we all worked together. After being at the core for several years, there were certain things you could always depend on Bert to do. One such thing was at Halloween time. Bert would always wear the same ugly T-shirt and uh, he would wear a black wig that had potato, chat, uh, potato chip bag clips in it rather than hair clips. He always checked the statistics board to see what the attendance was like on Sunday mornings and other meetings. He loved to see people kneeling at the mercy seat, something I'm sure he did many years ago himself to dedicate his life to the Lord. And he did. He fulfilled the calling God had on his life. I will miss Bert's spirit around this core. He was a true salvationist through and through. He loved people, cared about their souls, and was lighthearted. Bert Roland was truly a one of a kind. I can only hope that one day, when I get to be his age, my hair looks as good as his always did. <laughs> Thank you.